guys this is a quick video about one of these um, gadget you can actually put on your car um, so you can see there's like uh, one um, GPS speedometer showing the time and then there's another one um, pretty much just the same stuff but it comes with a lot of other stuff so uh, the one on the right is pretty much show the speed but it also shows the RPM um, it shows the RPM um, you can actually see the RPM right there uh, because uh, also it's going to show you the amount of fuel it's going to uh, consume um, and our coolant temperature heading and then there's this middle button here when you press it kind of like um, changes theme um, then you have um, you know your turbo and stuff like that. I don't have a turbo. I'm pretty sure about this. This is one more suitable for a bike um, motorcycle style, but you know, it's kind of cool, but that's uh, uh, Also going to give you more information about you know um, your voltage and uh, your um, mileage and stuff like that um, so a lot of functions out there, 0 to 100, and, and this is kind of cool because uh, this one you actually can see a lot of stuff that um, pretty much like you can see your fuel trim, um, obviously the RPM, your ignition, um, you know, angles, and uh, mass airflow sensor, a right? throttle position, oxygen sensor position. Let's go to the next page. Um, oxygen sensor voltage. Um, then we have many other parameters here. Uh, Evaporation fuel level. Then we have uh, air pressure, catalytic converter temperature. Um, a lot of stuff. So obviously you get the idea. It is actually an OBD2 power device. Um, so you just like you know get one of these you know connect anywhere where you like um, to place on your car's dashboard but I don't want to connect anything that goes on the windshield area because I want my visual to be not totally not obstructed by any electronic items even I have my uh, dash cam all the way up there because you know um, I don't want it to you know hang around and come into my visual when I'm actually driving um, this one I pretty much mounted where um, when I'm driving um, barely can I mean it's not really obstructing anything um, so find this uh, right place on your car uh, use the 3M you know adhesive then um, you know connect your wear on the back then they also include one of these nice pry but I kind of like I'm sorry about the um, darkness here is actually night but so you can you can reroute your wires all the way up here if the wires looks too long just you know make it short make a loop um you know use that um the rubber or something and then connect with the obd sensor make sure the wire uh let me turn the flashlight probably i can show you so you can see in my place i kind of like tucked in here um and then i rerouted there and it came all the way right up here features you can also read your um, check engine light I don't have one right now that's why I can't really show you but it does have the ability to check and clear um, any check engine light thing I so oh and uh, right here you can also clear your um, you know check engine light if you have one um, so Obviously, you can obviously switch and lamp the brightness, and this. so you can see you do a lot of stuff with this one. So that's it, guys. Um, and the best part is that I only paid five bucks for this stuff. Seriously. Uh, it's probably cost like 30 40 bucks on Amazon, but there was this particular app team I don't really recommend that particular app um, Neither am I familiar with that, app. but there was it just thought I actually got a random email And it says this all the new user will get uh, this particular device for four bucks So I was like, you know what? Just give it a try 
and they did send it all the way from China I'm telling you that so yeah um, that's an OBD speedometer whatever like you know just search it on Timo you know but use that app try to see if there are deal is available or not even if you don't find it there you can find them from Amazon and use this trust me guys this is remarkably good stuff um, I just hope it lasts long but um, I hope it does uh, very easy to straightforward like um, installation and of course right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn off the car and I'll see if it turns off itself automatically because this is the last thing but most important thing that we have to worry about we don't we don't want our battery to be drained so I'm just gonna turn off the car and I'll wait to see if it goes like you know power up down okay it looks like it's powering down oh perfect okay so that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video